great space to play music in. And thank you all for coming. Before I start, I, I, let me introduce this wonderful band. And you guys are in for a, a big treat, to, just for these, these players that I get to play with. This is Dave Stoddard. <laughs> and this is Miss Karen Mall. I guess, I think I got to greet nearly everybody here. I always like to do that before the show starts. Someone asked me if I was a Walmart greeter. <laughs> I, and, and before we start, I just have to tell you a, a little bit. Someone asked me, uh, yeah, I always have these false starts for the band. <laughs> Someone asked me before we started here, uh, they, they said, Ronnie, what does it feel like to be a famous movie actor and I said to tell you the truth I don't know uh, even though I've been in about a thousand million movies and television shows through the years I, I almost never get recognized as an actor people just think they know me uh, I'm forever having people come up and they go you're from Duluth, aren't you? <laughs> and I say, N no, I I'm an actor. You've probably seen me in movies or television. And they say, nope. <laughs> nope, I never saw you in a movie or television because a guy looks exactly like you in Duluth. And, and I would believe that if I hadn't had this conversation about a thousand times. Uh, I was in a Cracker Do you have Cracker Barrels up oh, here? Yeah. 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 I was in Cracker Barrel having breakfast the other day, and, and this young waitress, this young waitress kept looking at me and looking at me. Pretty soon she came over and she said, do you come in here a lot? <laughs> and I, I love what she said to me when I said, I said, I'm an actor. And she looked at me and said, no, uh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I probably shouldn't tell you this, but I'm going to. Uh, I, I was in uh, Karen's hometown, Austin, about four or five years ago. I flown in there, and I was waiting for my luggage to come down at the carousel there in the airport. And out of the corner of my eye, I saw this lady looking at me with this look that I've come to recognize. And she kept staring at me and staring. Pretty soon she came over and stood right in front of me and put her hands on her head, and hips rather irately and said, Aren't you going to speak to me? <laughs> I said, forgive me, I'm sorry. Hi, how are you? Didn't make any difference to her. She said, you've just been my gynecologist for 14 years. <laughs> Several things occurred to me to say to her. <laughs> I thought I'd leave that line alone. <laughs>
Mason jar is all I can do to believe that it's gone. That hard knocking, rocking, rolling life I have known. The dancing is over, the music just goes on. but these guys are pretty good, aren't they? Yeah. Uh, I grew up in New Mexico, uh, and, and when I was a kid, I used to work on a ranch. And uh, I thought I knew everything there was to know about horses. And here a few years ago, I saw a wonderful documentary on the wild horses of Nevada. Found out all kinds of things I didn't know about the horse. Not the least of which, a little foal born in the wild only has six minutes to get up and get moving. So imagine what it's like to be a mare. You've just given birth to a little wobbly-legged guy. It's cold, snowy, predators all around. Got to get him to a safe place.